Uh, hi, this is Rob from Freestyle Design and today I've got a, another tutorial for you. Alright, so today we're going to look at installing uh, Windows XP into uh, VMware. Now it's pretty simple, I've just uh, downloaded the VMware Player down from the internet and installed it on my machine. Uh, my machine. I've just followed through with their uh, defaults. I'm just going to install XP now. Now I've got an XP, uh, XP file here as a uh, ISO. I get it because I'm a uh, TechNet subscriber. But if you were to use a CD, then you would just connect to it by the CD. It's going to put in my serial number of my XP release and then give the machine a name. XP server in this particular case. And I'm going to make sure that it goes through into my virtual machine folder. By default, it will try and save it on your C drive in your My Documents folder. I actually like to st uh, save it to my Stories drive, which is uh, my D drive, which is a one terabyte drive in my virtual machines. There we go. Click OK. And I'm just going to put it into a folder called. Um, XP server. So just type that in there. XP server. Should I spell it correctly? And then click next. I'm going to accept the 40 um, uh, gig hard drive space. I'm just going to give this a little bit more RAM. So I'm going to give it uh, two gigs of RAM. So I've just selected memory. I'm just going to type 2048 into there. Click OK. Oh, whoops. There we are. And then I'm going to select the network card, make sure that it's a bridge network. I don't want to use the uh, NAT. Uh, I'm just going to bridge the network so that it's actually on the same network as the rest of my machines. And then off it goes. Uh, VMware will do its thing. And uh, this is just a standard XP setup. So this is the text part of the uh, setup. You get that blue screen. It doesn't ask you to uh, format the disk or uh, partition. Uh, it just goes through automatically. So some bit of time has passed. And here we are. We've got a brand spanking new version of XP. All right. So I'm just going to move the, uh, the bar up the top. I always like the bar up the top. So I just lock the taskbar there. Now we're just going to test the connection. Make sure that the virtual machine can talk to the other machines on my network. Alright, so I just type in CMD into here. Should bring up the command prompt. And then I'm just going to type in ping 192.168.0.1 which is the address of my router and you can see we've got four good responses there uh, by default they came out as 800 by 600 that's a little bit small for me so I'm going to make it 1024 by 768 to give it a bit more uh, well <laughs> it'd be easy for me to see actually so I just set the slider there, 1024 by 768. Yep, I like it. And there it is. Now, of course, we'll just have to move the recycling bin because it's, the screen's got bigger. And I'm just going to give it a blank uh, black screen. Just find that green and blue a bit distracting. So I just select black. And click um, apply. Oh, none. And OK. Now we've just got a black screen on our XP. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to enable the folder sharing between the guest machine, the guest being the virtual machine, and the host, which is the machine on which it is running. Alright, so I just select uh, options, um, enable sharing, and then I just navigate 
using the browse there to the desktop of my main machine. Click on next. Yep. And away we go. So now um, anything that um, is on the desktop of the main machine will be accessible from the virtual machine. See, we've got a new shared drive there called desktop. And that's actually the folders that are sitting on top of my uh, machine. All right, set up language and region settings. All right, so being in Australia, we uh, we use a different date format than people in the US. So I'm just going to set this up. So we'll first we'll set up Australian English. We spell things a little bit differently. And our region being Australia, so we'll get uh, the correct time zones. So we'll get the uh, day before the month in the month format. And the time, I like a 24 hour clock, so I'm just going to select capital H M M S S, and which will give me a 24 hour clock. Click OK, click OK. OK, so the next time, uh, We'll look at installing a WAMP package onto our XP machine so that we can use it as a development web server. I'll catch you then. Catch